Right. I want to do a strange little review here. I'm going to do a review on a floating lodge. Yeah, you heard right. A floating. And this is around about the 170, 190,000 pound mark. And it's made in Northern Ireland, Belfast. It sleeps two people. It's got a veranda out the back here. Oops, you know, it falls over the bed doing it. Nice little bedroom here, veranda out the back here. So this can go on a lake, on many parks. Now, they've had a lot of interest off people, park owners who've got big lakes. And of course, if they can put some of these around the lake, that makes, you know, utilizes the, the land that they've got, if you like. So, <clears throat> it's just like a normal lodge, but yeah, it's, it's floating. I'm really intrigued with it. Um, there's plenty of, of storage in it. It's great, isn't it? Brilliant. Yeah. I don't know if that's the owner that's just come in. Are you the owner or the, man, the designer or what? Sorry, what's that? Are you the designer or...? No, I'm part of the sales. You're part of the sales, yeah, right, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, I've just done a, some focus from Park Home and Living. Lovely. Oh, um, so I'm just doing a quick video for my channel. Yeah, brilliant. It's something different. Yeah, can I put my card on there? You Is can. That... You take a photograph of that. Ratio, okay. Hang on. There we go. Thank you. Super. So yeah, I'm just doing it. It's is different. And it's a hell of a lot. Of, we, we, this is the first time we've been to this show. Yes, I, I, I go that when I sort of came around the corner and saw no, no, it. You no, know, really loving it. Yeah. Really loving it. Number of park homes that owners that have been on that have this morning. Got bodies of water and well, there is, you see, and it's not doing anything, is it? Yeah, you know, this 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 sort of uh, adds another dimension to yeah, yeah, yeah. your park. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you finish off. Yeah, okay, thank you. Well, you can get that, that was the sales guy. <laughs> um, <clears throat> like I was saying, these are very modern, I mean, they're very modern inside. Uh, there's electric uh, storage heating. Um, electric panels to heat up so um, but I say loads of storage here loads of wardrobe space drawers lots of big drawers as well look <clears throat> there we go um, so this can be obviously shut off this is the bedroom and that's shut off uh, I presume there will be some blinds at the end there uh, because obviously, but can you imagine waking up on the lake looking across on a beautiful summer's evening, uh, summer's morning, uh, and you know, summer's evening, sat out there, how great it would be instead of looking across at the, the hall of the NEC. I'm just going to go through this bit here. Now, <clears throat> you've got a shower and loo here. And I like this design window as well, haven't you? Look at that, sort of quite, it's just sort of quite nice. I made it a nice design for you to have a window. Uh, obviously, loo, shower in here, um, wall radiator, nice little hand basin mirror. Um, yeah, probably if I was going to do anything, I'd probably stick a couple of shelves up here because I think you could just do with a, a bit of extra storage, but that's my opinion. Gone from there, and we're now going into the kitchen. Well, this is the kitchen, it's a nice little shaped kitchen, a big deep sink, and again, it's that designer window I quite like. Um, got some obviously large lockers up here, all lockers, and also you've got a two bin burner hob here um, and an oven. Probably would like to see three burner hob there, which is brown. That's just my opinion again, obviously. Some main sockets, no USB points there. And uh, two more main sockets on the side as well. Uh, your fridge, freeze underneath there. And then you've got the little dining area here. And two we can sit here, of course. 
there was another bench underneath there and a nice sort of window here so you can again have a look and see what's going on outside. Then you come over to this side of course you've got the settee now I presume this actually will possibly make into a bed I'm not sure. I'll just test the camera. Does that, excuse, does that make into a bed? Yes. That does make into a bed. So excellent for um, nice um, storage drawers here. Again big window there you can see what's going on and LED uh, ceiling lights and of course I just like it. It is very, very nice. It is a very novel thing to have. And, you know, uh, as this is a lodge, this is one different lodge to have, isn't it? So loads of space in here. Absolutely loads of space. And again, wall heater there. Again, some main sockets. Um, yeah. So then, what do you think of the floating lodge? Has it got a future? Well, I know there are some lodges and things that float, and I think quite a popular broad. This is made, as I said, in Belfast, and everything seems really solid and well put together. Um, I mean, the guy was telling me that before, and um, he's absolutely right. It does, everything feels very, very solid about it. So, I think if you're in the market for this type of thing, you know, into the market for a lodge and you want something different and you've got that um, disposable income this is something you could actually quite maybe look at and think you know this could be quite good just see how impressed your friends would be and hey if you're in a park where you can fish the lake you can literally have your breakfast and have your fishing rod out there and do a bit of fishing too and the wife can't complain because you're here on the spot. So, again, it's different. Um, never been on a floating lodge before. And these guys are boat guys, but they decided this was something that they should be looking at. And they've had great response to from park owners who've got a lot of, uh, who've got a lake and want to utilise that and also the fact is it makes it very very exclusive it's just really yeah very nicely put together this could be really relaxing and what a thing to show your friends just thought you might like this video um i say it's a bit unusual what i normally do but i just thought it was worth doing and um as i say as soon as you said it's a floating caravan <laughs> no it isn't my lad it's not a floating caravan <laughs> it's a floating lodge, but I think it's pretty good, um, and it's a niche market, but I think there's a market there that actually, obviously, does exist. So, on that note, I'm going to go, and thanks for watching the video. Like I say, just see what your remarks are on it, see what you think, please tell me, I know you will, and... Um, would you pay the 170 grand, 190 grand to have this on a lake? If you had that disposable income? That's what you've got to remember. If you got a disposable income, would you do that? You think, oh, you know, we can afford that. Would you do that? I think it's very tempting for a lot of people. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye. I think I feel seasick. No, I don't.